Howdy, Tippy. It's absolutely a bully to meet you. Oh, God. He's another one like you, Mako. All cheerful and shit. God, I just want to slit my wrist now. Nothing wrong with a little sunshine in the world, Tippy. It needs more happy people. Yeah, like another hole in my head. Okay, let's get this... Okay, let's get this poetry club in session. Ladies and gentlemen, settle down if you please. Uh, so, for context, before we start this, this is going to be Mako's line. Uh, this will be the companion piece to the first video that you should have watched. I will leave an eye icon thing in the corner if you haven't seen it. Louder for people in back, Mako, you're losing the crowd. Now, as we all know, we love fun, and nothing's more fun than homework. Who's with me? Yay! Now, of course, our new member wasn't here last week. But you were, Tippy. Did you bring in a new poem? Uh, I guess so. Well, here's a swell idea. Why don't you give it to our new friend to read out to the group? Because I don't want him to see it. It bites. It bites harder than my Uncle Bolsong. Oh, that's surely hyperbole, Tippy. We all know that your Uncle Bolsong has a bite force of over 5,900 newtons. Your poem couldn't possibly bite more than 4,000. Sorry, I didn't realize hyperbole was discouraged at this poetry club. Fuck me. I might come up with a simile next. Maybe I should hang myself right now just in case. Hey, lard boy, pass me that chair, would you? Aw, don't say things like that, Tippy. You know I don't like it. I guess I do. Sorry, Mako-chan. That's better. Alright, now stop being a reluctant Rihanna and let him read your poem. Ugh, whatever. Read it out good and loud. I have the reading skills of a fish gad. Oh, you read it beautifully. What's me? Married? I don't use E, remember? It's common. I only use lesser common letters. I prefer to take the path, the path less travel when I write. So I don't sign my poetry? I don't need to. My signature is on every line. Oh. I thought you did that because the E key fell off that rusty old Underwood 77 you use. Yeah, thanks, Mako. The new guy didn't know that, though, did he? Well, it's time to go over to the panel. What? Well, I want to hear what he thought of your poem. Oh, shit, really? Come on, partner. Give us your assessment. Uh, I found it too sad and dark. Of course it was sad and dark. Fish, Jesus, look at me. You think I wear this eyeshadow for laughs? What do you expect? That I write something about how much I love bunnies? Oh, I love bunnies! Of course you do. That's no points for Black Tip Chan. I don't care for it either. It made, me, it made my tummy hurt. You guys are douchebags. Give me a fucking poem back, lardass. Oh boy. Oh boy, now it's time for my poem. I hope you like it. I worked real hard to make it nice. It's not about a fluffy animal again, is it? No, Tippy, don't worry. I did pay heed to your concerns last week. I wasn't concerned. I'm just sick of listening to the poetry equivalent of candy floss coming out of your mouth. I still don't understand how you managed to make puppy rhyme with snuggle. It shouldn't even be possible, but in context, fuck me if it didn't somehow if you didn't somehow pull it off. Well, if you like that, you'll love this. I hated it. Jeepers, I can feel my blushes coming on already. Golly gosh, and soda pop. Read out before I swoon, partner. Okay, let's see. To be or not to be, by Bako Chan. I saw a bee. Well, golly gee. Now, do you think the bee saw me? Okay, let me raise a point of order right there. I thought we agreed no more fuzzy animals. It's an insect. Is it a bumblebee? Maybe. Of course it is. You've drawn a picture of it right there. A bumblebee? The insect world's equivalent to Pala's cat? That's as fluffy as it gets. Well, let's not quarrel now. Too late. I swear to God, Mako. Come on, I want to hear what you thought of it. Lay it on me, brother! It's a beautiful poem. So warm and full of wonder. Aw, oh, shucks! You really think so? That's so nice of you to say! Oh, brother. 
You're really nice. You know that, partner? I think right now you're my favorite person ever. Mako, his motives are extremely transparent. Oh, Tippy, that's what you said about the janitor. And that never came to anything. They arrested him, Mako. You always look for the bad in people. But I only see, but I see only the nice things. They arrested him because he had candid photography of you pinned up in the boiler room. Partner, you made me very happy. I'm so glad you liked my poem. He went down for five years. Now I know you've not had a time to prepare, to prepare anything, partner, but let's hear what you, let's hear you do a poem. But I don't know any. I know, but we're going to reach into your soul. We want to hear a stream of consciousness. More like barely conscious in, the, in this case. Hey, Tippy, no mind. Let's find out the real inner you. You ready? Let it all out. Say the first thing that pops into your head. Well, this is awkward. Thing is, with these two shark meetings around, I think I've got the aqua fever. Okay, I can do this. Just keep my mind out of my mouth. Alright, this one's called... Particle. Ooh, good title! Write this down, Tippy. Whatever. Ahem. <clears throat> Oh gosh. I gaze into the breaking dawn. The stars are put to bed. Uh, did you get that, Tippy? Yes. Carry on. To quest, to yearn, and get a dream. This is from the heart, all right. Before you ask me, go. Yeah, I wrote that one down too. Cheese and Cracker Jacks! I can't wait to hear the last line. With a mixture of perverted curiosity, but also a tinge of, hor of horrified dread? Yeah. Me too. Come on, Butterball. Let's have it. Let only this be said, that I did give more to thy world than I didst take from thee. Well, that was a trip. I'll say. Are you always quite so blunt? What do you mean? Didn't you girls like it? Well, it was a bit forthright. Miku, I'm not sure the old brain is firing on all cylinders over there again. I'm not convinced what he thought he said actually equates to what he said. How about I read it back? Yes, I think you better head. Okay then, particle. <clears throat> it begins, My god, Mako-chan has some amazing tits. Which I think we can all agree is a real attention grabber of a way to start a poem. I'll say. He continues, I'd love to really mess Mako up. Plow her the next week. Now you th might think it would be hard to follow up a line like that, but let me tell you, he finishes strong. Oh my goodness. So the line is, taking Mako from behind, holy shit, would blow my mind. Now, what actually, what especially impressed me with that, was that it actually rhymed. What are my muffins? You're not the guy I thought you were, partner. More fool you then, Mako. He's a guy. They're all like that. Did I really say all that? I swear that wasn't what was in my head. I'm really sorry, girls. Please forgive me. Sorry isn't good enough. I heard every word, you disgusting little re reprobate. How dare you try and lead my good girls astray with your revolting perversions! I want you off this campus, effective immediately, and I'll be right into your principal, you may be sure of that. Wait, how the blue heck did you know about this? There's no cameras in here. Yeah, maybe I should have mentioned that. Rule of thumb is, if you can't see a camera, as a hidden microphone. And just as well, too. Pack up and ship out. Right now! Ah, oh, man! I blew it! Well, that was the shortest exchange ship ever. I really messed up that time. Now I have to return to the surface disgrace as a big fat failure and a massive perf. Below the sea as well as above it. Better start swimming, I guess. But wait! Someone's coming! Hey! Wait! Mako-chan? What gifts? Well, at least you... Well, at least you came to say goodbye. That's nice. 
I want to say more than that, partner. The crazy stuff you said, it really got to me. Mister, you've won my heart. You were nice about my poem, and we, we just kind of click. I know you have to go back to the surface, but I thought about it a lot, and... Well, I've made a decision. Like Tippy said, marriage maybe isn't that great. I can't hurt... It can't hurt to indulge in a little bit of hanky-panky. Can it? <clears throat> Why, of course not. You wouldn't think any less of me if I... Uh... Put out? Oh, no! No, 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 I mean... Are you going to? You're special, partner. Special like a short boss, or special like someone you really like? I'd say it's a 60-40 split. Fair enough. But that doesn't matter. Before you leave, let's do it. I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> Once again, so that is Mako-chan's uh, entire dialogue path. So with that, that concludes Shark Dating Simulator, at least for now. Um, there is going to be more in the future, uh, but I don't think that's going to be until next year. So once the Book of Nurse Chan comes out, I will be playing that again <laughs> because, oh boy, everyone loves the series. Um, and anything else that comes out in the future, I will be sure to play. So without further ado, uh, roll the outro. Hey, congratulations, you made it to the end. Why well, leave a like or a comment in the comment section below while you're at it? Or subscribe and join the Cup Collective today. That being said, I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye for now.